Hello viewers, welcome and welcome back. My name is Jean Yamanga. For those who are watching for the first time, welcome to this channel. This channel is all about African healthy dishes and today's recipe I want to do me and you, we want to do what we call the tamarind porridge. Tamarind porridge, we are going to prepare the porridge using the millet and then we are going to do some tamarind into the porridge just to add the flavor. So get tuned until we just taste the porridge together. So guys, we have the tamarind here and remember I've just put the tamarind when they already peeled their covers. So the first step I want to do, I just want to soak the tamarind in just the normal water. Then we are just going to add some water. I just want to soak it for like 10 minutes so that they release their juices and we get a very nice juice out of it. So we leave it here for 10 minutes to soak and release their juices as we prepare the porridge. So I've soaked the tamarind and remember I've just used warm water just to fasten the release of their juices. We have what we call the millet here, the millet flour, fine millet flour that we're going to use to make our porridge. So the first step you're going to do, we're just going to make the porridge. We are going to do one jar of water. Remember the water was warm, just to fasten the process of making the uji. I've just added one jar of water which is warm. So the next step, I'm just going to mix my millet flour into this jar. Then we just come and pour into this water. So let's go mix the flour. So what I want to do, I want to put four tablespoons of the fine millet flour. Four. Remember, I'm preparing uji for the whole family. That's why I'm doing four. Two is always enough for two people. And then I'm going to add just one cup of water. Then we are going to mix the flour completely with the water before we add it into our boiling water. So I'm just going to mix it completely until we have a fine mixture. So as you can see, our mixture was ready. And what I wanted to do next, I want to see this, this tamarind so that I have the juice because it's just ready so I'm just going to sieve it here so that I have the juice only So after this, now we just go and add the mixture into our porridge. Remember what we did, the water has to boil. After boiling, we have the mixture of the millet flour and it is just fine. Make sure you don't have any bubbles. Then we are going to add the mixture into the boiling water and we are going to stir and we'll continue stirring until we have a thick now thick mixture meaning that now we'll start having our porridge getting ready so i'm going to give it a stir a serious one without leaving it because if you leave it the mixture will stick on the bottom of the pot and then you'll start having bubbles onto your uji that is not even nice onto the uji. The uji should always be very smooth, smooth and soft. And when it starts getting thicker like this, as you can see, it's thicker. So what you want to do, you want to add the tamarind juice. This is the tamarind juice that I'm adding. And I'm going to stir it until now it comes to a boiling point. Mm. 
So we'll continue adding the tamarind juice. I can do all of it. When the uji becomes now thicker again, now we can do normal water. So guys, as you can see, our uji has been boiling for like 7 minutes now. So at this stage, I just want to add what we call sugar. I'm going to do 3 tablespoons of sugar. Then I'm going to give it a nice stir, a nice mixture. And I'm going to taste if the sugar is enough. I'm going to taste if the sugar is just enough onto our porridge. This which is tasting like a lot of honey. It's like you're just taking honey. We are going to leave it to boil again for five minutes before now we start tasting it. is just ready and well cooked I hope you can just see it is just well cooked and ready so what I want to do at this point we're just going to dip it in cold water then it cools so I'm going to dip it in cold water so that it cools faster. So that we are just able to serve it immediately. So guys, I just hope the uji is just cool that we can be we can be able to give it a taste. So as you can see it's already cool. So I'm just going to remove it from the cold water and then we are just going to give it a nice taste. So I'm just going to use my calabash as we take uji with calabashes. Guys I hope you can see my uji. My uji is just well done. So I'm just going to give it a nice taste. A nice nice taste for you and for you and for me Wow mm. Wow You must try this recipe You must cook this porridge into your you must cook this food in your kitchen. <laughs> 